a bill that would increase penalties to those who would abuse or neglect vulnerable adults, is a piece of legislation offered up by Senator Warren Limmer. He's here today to talk a little bit about it. Thank you so much for joining oh, glad us. Glad to be here. Senator, let's begin with the fact that Minnesota does have currently an Adult Protection Act. We do. We so, do have a Vulnerable Adult Protection Act, but it, so only, it only goes as far as a gross misdemeanor which is a rather low threshold, a low penalty for what, what could be a very atrocious crime of neglecting, let's say, a, a very frail elderly person, a person with a, a mental disability, uh, intentional neglect, not accidental, not because you have to, some um, healthcare worker is tending another patient under their care, but this would be for those who would intentionally neglect a patient, uh, someone who might be frail or like mental disability, uh, that's who we're going after. So and what's your vision for the bill? Well, I intend to pass it, and I think we have the uh, strength of the legislature uh, recognizing that this is kind of on the rise. And it's on the rise because our population of our elderly people, those with mental disability, baby boomers now coming into the, the older age set, are going to start swamping the system. And with that increase in population, we're going to have more increases in intentional neglect. And we want to get ahead of it. We want to draw a clear line that says, if you intentionally neglect one of these people that we put in your care, we're going, we could charge you up to a felony charge and a 10-year penalty in prison. Okay, well, you just answered my question about what the penalties would be. I do want to ask you the fact that Mickey Rourke, or excuse me, Mickey Rooney recently testified in Washington, D.C. on the issue of elder abuse. He kind of provided a face for this issue, yeah. nationally speaking. Now, statistics are hard to come by. You did say that this problem appears to be growing. Do you think it's growing, or do you think more people are just reporting it? You know, it's, it's kind of hard because quite often there's no reporting. Let's say it's a, a person with a mental deficiency. They're not going to report it. Uh, perhaps a person who has advanced Alzheimer's. They can't report it. Uh, but if someone finds out that there's a intentional neglect, it's going to be reported and the penalty will be severe. Many times the person who is preying on this vulnerable adult tends to be a family member. Do you find that this could be a very difficult bill to enforce? Uh, it may be. But that doesn't mean that we ignore the problem, and it doesn't mean that we not have strict guidelines and uh, a serious consequence for when that crime has taken place. You know, we know that care of our elderly or those who are frail, oftentimes the family takes that individual in. They love that person. Uh, other times there may be some bad actors in the family that think it's an inconvenience and it may even lead to the point of intentional neglect. If you're going to take the responsibility of, to assume the care and the food uh, and the cleanliness of an individual, that responsibility will have consequences if you intentionally fail not to deliver those services. Senator, it's fair to say that nobody would necessarily um dispute the idea of protecting vulnerable adults, mm -hmm. and yet you are saying that there is some pushback on this legislation. Well, there's pushback from uh, the institutions, the care providers. They don't want to get caught in an unintended consequence, and so they're a little nervous about it. This bill's been floating around for a good seven to ten years, and I started it way back, about seven, eight years ago. The point is then, as it is now, if we intentionally neglect an animal, a farm animal, that perpetrator could get a felony charge. But in Minnesota, if it's a human being under our care, it's simply a gross misdemeanor. There's something wrong with our priorities by having laws on the book that don't protect our frail human beings less than what we do with common farm animals. Okay, Senator, and of course we'll track that legislation that comes up in committee this week. I do want to shift topics real quickly. Right. Senator John Marty is one of a couple of senators who have crafted legislation that would repeal the constitutional amendment defining marriage as a union between a man and a woman. Now, in your opinion, does his and the other legislation have any teeth to it? Well, the teeth comes from the, uh, the uh, majorities in both bodies. Is there enough people to vote for that and reverse the decision we just made 
eight, nine months ago, of allowing the public to vote on a critical issue uh, through a constitutional amendment. Constitutional amendments are allowed uh, by the Constitution, and we decided that the issue of def defining marriage, which has already been challenged in the court, it's resting with the appellate court now, uh, whether or not we should accept the current one man, one woman standard in Minnesota. We in the legislature thought, the majority of the legislators thought, that this was such an important issue that rather allow the court to decide this definition, we should give it to the public. We give them a year and a half to discuss it, to promote it, to uh, debate it, and then we'll have our vote in November. I don't think there's a, I, I find it very difficult to find a single issue that I would not trust the public with. Apparently Senator Marty doesn't believe that. I think uh, the legislature spoke clearly. It reflected the wishes of our constituents last year uh, that they wanted to define this. Their values, not the little group of legislators here or even less, a few a few judges on an appellate court or a Supreme Court. I think it's a wise decision to give this decision to the public. I'm not sure if Senator Marty really has uh, a majority of votes in both chambers to reverse this. Um, proof's in the pudding, you know, but uh, we'll see. Did you expect legislation like this to come up? You know, I really didn't. I thought that the issue would have been kind of done with. We had a lot of protest. We had a lot of discussion. The idea has been discussed in Minnesota for at least seven, eight years. So uh, it, it has been extremely well vetted in the legislature. Apparently, some people just don't want to let, it, let the public vote. And uh, that's kind of sad, in my opinion. OK, Senator Limmer, we certainly appreciate your time. And we'll track, as I said earlier, your legislation. So yeah. have a great day again. Thanks Thank for you. joining us.